What's the difference between this $65 pack of Amazon and this $500 Arcturix pack? Keep watching to find out. This episode is brought to you by The Color Blue. Hey guys, this is Steven from MyLifeOutdoors.com. If you haven't already done so, please like, subscribe, and ring the little bell so that you never miss a video. So I recently picked up this $65 Gonex pack off of Amazon to see if it was worth the money, and I, I thought I would do a comparison to see how a budget pack does against a true quality pack. So counting down from 10, here are the top 10 differences between a $65 Gonex pack and a $500 Arcturix pack. Keep watching till the end to find out if the Gonex pack is worth your money. Number 10, workmanship. So when I first picked up the Gonex pack, I, I truly believed that the number one difference that I would see between the two packs was in the way that they were assembled. I believed on close examination that I would find some flaws and some poorly sewn seams and other things like that with the Gonex pack that you just wouldn't find with an expensive quality pack like the Arcturix. But to be honest with you, I was surprised because um, I looked all over this thing and I couldn't find any evidence of poorly sewn seams. I mean, and honestly, most of the seams are hidden, so you can't even tell what kind of quality workmanship has gone into the pack at all. And I thought that maybe that was an attempt to try to hide some of the flaws behind it, but I was surprised to find out that the Arcturix pack is assembled the same way, that all the seams on the inside are, are sealed and hidden, are sewn over so that you can't really see what kind of quality seams that you have in either one of these packs. Number nine, weight and capacity. So the Gonex pack is a 65 plus 10 liter pack and the Arcturix is a 75 liter pack. And so at least according to the specs, these two packs should carry about the same amount of gear. As far as weight, the Gonex pack weighs in at 3.5 pounds, whereas the Arcturix pack weighs in at five pounds and two ounces. Number eight, pockets. So one of the things I really love about the Arcturix pack are these zippered side pockets. Both sides have zippered pockets that will hold a lot more than you realize. And it also has this large center portion pocket that you can use to stash things like a wet rain fly or anything else you want to keep separate from your main compartment. The Gonex pack has these elastic side pockets, which I feel like are pretty standard on most packs, but if I'm honest with you, I'm not a fan of. And there is no center pocket anywhere on the front of this thing which I feel like is a pretty standard thing on most packs, which this pack is missing. Number seven, material. Now the very first thing I noticed about the Gonex pack whenever I pulled it out of the package is that the, the material feels very thin and stiff compared to the material on the Arcturix. Now, I can't tell if there is any actual difference between the two materials just other than what I'm feeling and, and kind of what my gut is telling me, but Gonex does have YKK zippers, which are quality zippers and are well respected in the field. Number six, water bladder pockets. Now the Arcturix has a separate water bladder pocket that you can access from the outside. You simply put your water bladder in the pocket, zip it up against the hose, and you're good to go. It's a feature that I've really come to love on the Arcturix pack. On the other hand, the Gonex pack seems to have your standard internal pocket that you put the water bladder up against your back and feed the hose through a little slit in the material up at the top. Number five, the Gonex pack comes with its own rain cover. It's got a little pocket down here in the bottom that it's got a little rain cover shoved inside there. Now I haven't used this pack in the rain, so I have no idea how good this thing actually is. The Arcturix pack on the other hand, the rain cover is sold separately. Number four, the Gonex pack doesn't have a top compression strap, which I feel like is pretty standard on most packs. The Arcturix pack of course has one. Number three, side compression straps. Now the Gonex pack does feature side compression straps, as most packs should, but the only problem is, is that these side compression straps do not extend across the side access zipper, which means when this pack is fully loaded, this zipper will experience unnecessary stress that could lead to failure. The Arcturix pack, on the other hand, has properly placed side compression straps that do extend across the side access zipper. Number two, speaking of the side access zipper, one of the things I love about the Arcturix pack is this full length side access zipper that extends all the way around the pack, allowing you to open the pack essentially like a suitcase. It doesn't matter where you place a piece of gear, anywhere in this pack, you don't have to dig in from the top. You can access it by simply opening the side access zipper. The Gonex pack does feature a side access zipper, but it is much smaller and only on one side of the pack. 
number one. Finally, the number one difference between a $500 Arturix pack and a $65 Gonex pack is the suspension. Now the Arturix pack has a fully adjustable suspension that will not only adjust for torso height, but will also adjust for shoulder width. Combine that with a fully articulating molded hip belt and you have one of the most comfortable packs that I've ever carried in my entire life. The Gonax pack on the other hand has a very basic hip belt, nothing fancy there. The shoulder straps will adjust for torso height and a similar design to an Osprey pack. In fact, the Gonex pack seems to share a lot of design features with Osprey packs. Everything from the way that the shoulder straps adjust to the back ventilation to the overall feel of the pack. If you've carried an Osprey pack before, this is going to feel very similar to one of those. So there you have it, the difference between a $500 Arturix pack and a $65 Gonex pack. Now the question is, is the Gonex pack worth the money? I'll say this, the Gonex pack has a lot of nice standard features that you come to expect in just about any pack at an affordable price. The only thing I'm uncertain about is the quality of the material and the stitching. Now, if the material and the stitching can hold up to abuse, well then you've got a decent pack at a decent price. Now, would I spend money on this if I was just now getting into backpacking? Honestly, probably not. I would probably try to save a little bit more money, look to see if I could find a sale or something like that, buy a pack that I know I can trust. The last thing you want to have happen to you is to have some sort of pack failure miles out in the backcountry with a lot of weight that you got to carry home. So what do you think? $500 for a good quality, comfortable pack that you're probably going to carry the rest of your life. Or $65 for a pack that's not as comfortable, you're probably going to replace it at some point, but you save all that money at the beginning. What would you rather do? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, I ask that you please like it below, that you subscribe and ring the little bell so that you never miss a video. Please make sure to check out some of my other videos and check out my blog at mylifeoutdoors.com. And as always, thanks for watching.